All right, so let me know. It's it good. On. It's starting. Oh, we're on? Perfect. All I'm right. Here. All right, all right. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it being on. I love this luxury lunch and learn. Good idea. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, obviously, you know what my niche is, and uh, I feel like, you know, there's different – uh, there's great content out there right now, right? I and mean, there's so many people providing some amazing content and we just uh, wanted to do our part. Although uh, our niche and our focus is on high end and luxury, as you know, uh, it does apply. Most of the things that we talk about apply to all price points. Uh, yeah. So this is our, our third luxury lunch and learn. Um, and uh, each one we're getting a little bit better and more familiar with uh, technology and Zoom and how it works and um, and how to promote and get as many people on our trainings as possible. And uh, really appreciate your time. For those of you that are uh, uh, that are on, we want to let you know about our upcoming trainings as well. So for right now, we're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So before Tristan and I get going Friday, we're going to have uh, the head of luxury from Keller Williams, Leslie Akers. She's a rock star. Those of you that don't know Leslie, she's got a servant heart and she is amazing. So Leslie's going to be on on Friday. So this Friday, the uh, I guess that would be whatever the date would be, the 17th. And then next week, we have a rock solid uh, lineup as well. On Monday, we have Teresa Kenny, who um, heads, the, she's the CEO of the largest, uh, uh, the Miami Association of Realtors, which is the largest board um, in in the United States and second largest in North America behind Toronto's. Next Wednesday, I have a friend of mine uh, who runs Cobalt Baker Luxury. Um, Craig uh, does an amazing job. You guys will love Craig. And uh, next Friday, we have uh, we have Brad Inman. Um, so we're really excited about that. So we're getting Ooh. different perspectives and um, we already have some other- Can I be on? Can I be on with you on that one? <laughs> yeah, hey, we can co-panel. We co we'll get you on and um, you can it's ask so some fun. questions as well. Absolutely. Have me as a surprise co-host. I love that I'll, one. I'll have you a surprise co-host. Uh, that's perfect. So yeah. Uh, and then we have other, you know, other guests coming. We're really excited about it. And um, so again, you're I know a, I want to, I want to be very partner. respectful of your time though, because I know you have about 20, 25 minutes and we'll open it up for, so anybody that has questions. So let me give you a little bit about Tristan and then um, you can fill in the void. So Tristan is a rock star agent, a great guy. Um, he is co-founder of Lab Code Agents. There's over 118,000 agents within the group. Anybody that doesn't, hasn't heard of Lab Code Agents, uh, go ahead and, and uh, join their page. And uh, they have different industry experts. And that's really why I wanted Tristan on, although he's a licensed agent in California and does an amazing book of business himself, he's got different perspectives uh, from agents to team leaders and that sort of thing. So that's all we got Tristan on today. So uh, welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. I do cover the Malibu, California, Malibu, Westlake Village, Calabasas area. Okay. Uh, a lot of people and, don't know where Westlake Village is, so I always tell them uh, close to Malibu. Really close great. to Malibu. Uh, pretty woman, Roy Orbison from uh, Malibu. I, I played baseball with his son. Uh, there you go, dude. That's it. But we are seeing some some changes in in regards to luxury. Definitely, uh, it's it's being affected in the same manner as the rest of the, the real estate around the world. Yep. What we're seeing is a lot less people listing their homes but the demand hasn't really died out. So, and that's because there's less listings, but there's yep. still some pretty serious buyers out there. I mean, look, I'm looking at uh, Malibu over the last three, three and a half weeks to see what's happened. And I'd say at the very beginning, there was a massive dip. And then all of a sudden, start, homes started popping up more routinely, right? We don't get a lot of listings in the first place. There's only 13,000 residences out here so not too many but the average price is like three three and a half million okay so um you don't need a lot out here you right? don't need a lot and the average uh, price is three three and a half million yeah man so uh, but that's what i've noticed uh, when it comes to really targeting the areas i think what's still working which is the same thing that's working with with residential all across the nation is really coming from value 
a lot of the people that we're talking to when we're reaching out to our past clients or those that know us or sphere, we're approaching it with a lot more heart, just reaching out to see how they're doing. So no different, right? And then once we do that, Michael, you, you know that then people start asking, so what's going on, right? And then once they say, well, are people still buying or selling? Uh, tell me. And then we, we let them know, hey, look, in your area, this is what's happening. So yes, I mean, what are you noticing, Michael, out there? You know, uh, I'm noticing uh, a dip in actual showings, uh, again, in the Midwest, and I have coaching clients from across the country as well. So we're definitely seeing a, a dip in showings, depending on which state. So here in Illinois, uh, we are a shelter in place state, and uh, we are considered essential, however. But even with that, uh, you know, I carry about 30 listings. And um, we had a showing yesterday, actually two days ago, first showing we've had in over a week on 30 listings. So we're definitely seeing a peak in online, online activity, you know, so we're doing some digital marketing boosting with AdWorks and, and, and um, uh, forgetting the other one right now, but, uh, some, you know, digital marketing, driving people back to single property websites. And, uh, you know, we're seeing that to be very effective. You know, home snap, home snaps, the other one we're doing for 700,000 and above. Okay. All right. So I'll tell you what we're, we're doing now that you mentioned that. And let's see, I'm going to, I might break out my Facebook ads manager here on the back end, just so you can take a look at some of the things that we're doing. Um, one of those is we're doing, we're doing our first time home buyer uh, webinar or buyer seminars, right? First time and buyer seminars out in LA. First time home buyers are sometimes in the millions, right? Uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. That's just the way it is out here. Uh, so we, we target certain areas where people have a lot of questions and we've moved it from being in person to online. Sure. So we, we interviewed a lady named Kimberly Meserve out of the East Coast. And she was showing us how she was hosting these, these buyer presentations, buyer seminars. And I thought, well, She's saying, I'm going to shift over to online. And I'm like, what a great idea. Let's, let's do it, but let's use Facebook. So let me see if I can show you what we've done, but this way you can have a, a, a better idea. Let me see if I can share my screen with you. Yeah. It might be an empty screen. Let me know if you can see it. I'm on ads manager. Okay. Uh, yes, I can see it. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to take you to my ads here. So you can see this is one of my accounts. So I've got about, I don't even know how many accounts I've got, but this is the one I'm running. One of the ads that we're doing. And that's this one right here. I'm going to click it's amazing online buyer seminar. That's what I called it. Right. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we did a radius around Malibu where we've targeted that area and we're looking to see how many people we can get so far you see i'm going to open it up be very specific to this one um here it's we haven't gotten the results that we had the last time on the delivery okay uh, and it's telling a lot of impressions a lot of impressions but click through right yeah so the audience size needs to grow so we just started this one but the audience size needs to grow and then if we go back to i'm going to show you one then i'll show you the ad um, because you know, this is, this is what, this is the stuff I love, dude. So, uh, here I'm going to show you this one, this one got, I'm going to click on it specifically. This one had 56, Phil, 56 people registered to this one. And it had, it had a total of 122 clicks. So we go in a little deeper and we can take a look here. It'll say, well, let me download the CSV file. I can download it. I can take a look at them. And some people will be like, well, what ad are you running? What does it look like, right? So let me show you the ad that we were running here. So people have a better idea of what it looks like. So here's what it looks like. I just zoomed in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you see, this one was first, for, it's free, online first time buyer home seminar. Yeah, the right. most powerful word in marketing, free. <laughs> yeah, and people would still ask, is it free, right? And that's okay. So you can see it didn't get a lot of engagement there, but on the back end at 122 clicks and 56 people registered, right? Okay. And we ran this on February 12th, Easter, and people showed up. So this is one thing that we're doing that we've shifted over to, and it's working qu quite well. Uh, we made the ad on Canva. 
And then I changed the targeting so that, like I told you, it's a 15 mile radius around. Okay. Malibu. You can't do anything less because now it's it's a housing ad. You have to make sure you do click on that. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's one thing that we're doing as well. That's working really, really well for getting us those leads that we need. And then the other thing that we're doing is those listings that we do have that are luxury uh, or even, even the ones that we don't have. Let's say, Michael, you have one or two that I really like and you're not doing very much with them right now, right? I'm reaching out to agents like you and I'm saying, hey, uh, Michael, look, I'm going to have a virtual open house this coming weekend. Is it okay if I showcase your home through the videos that you've done? Or if you've done a 3D tour, can you go ahead and, and uh, send that to me if you're okay with me doing that? So leveraging and, other people's listings if an agent doesn't have that in their inventory. Yes. And what we're finding is that people are now saying, well, Virtual open hold house. on, let me mute that one. Uh, people are now asking me, well, yeah, no problem. But they're also saying, they're also saying, how are you doing it? Right. So obviously I'm sharing with them. I'm letting them know that there are two options and I'll take you through as well. So people understand what the options are. Uh, it's events and premiere on Facebook. You can do both. Let me see if I can share that really, really quick here with you. So you can take a look. That's that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's great. That's one of the things we always tell agents is those agents looking to break into luxury, Tristan, if they don't have their own uh, luxury listings, you know, leveraging other people's uh, in their own office. And in this case, um, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, I'd, I'd like to see what, what you're doing here. Yeah, no, dude, that's the key, man. That's the key. So here, here's one. Um, you go, number one, to your business page. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh -huh. Michael? All right, perfect. This is my, this is one of our business pages for for our luxury real estate brand. That's Keller Williams out here in Malibu, Westlake Village. Here, I'm on my business page. You see, I typed it up there. Yeah. Um, you don't have to type it up there, but I'm just showing you what we do. Here, you can scroll down. I'm going to show you events first, and then I'll show you Premiere. All right. Sure. So with events, I would click on events right there, and then it says, "Okay, well, what are your options here? Let's create an event." Right. Okay. So now I would grab the picture for my main listing that I have. And I don't know if I have one here, but let me see if I can grab one. I think I, I just trashed it. So let me go back to my main screen and untrash it while you're there. Um, as we're doing that, you have some options here. And those options are on the event side there. It's going to ask if you want to do a ticket like through Eventbrite, or if it's just going to be something that people can just join without having to log in. Okay. And right now, the way that I'm doing it is I'm running a live on the events page, right? So that's, that's key right there. Like you're doing an event right now through Zoom, you also have the, the option of running an event and running it into the events page, right? Right. And I think that's been the key because a lot of people are trying to figure out what the heck to do. You know, I can't find the picture, but I'm just going to use a picture. I'm just going to use this picture. We've got Michael Gerber on the on Friday. Uh, the oh, e nice. Guy. But I'm going to pretend that's a listing of a picture. OK. E myths, right? Yep, yeah. E yeah. Yeah. So let's write the event name is going to be um, Open House on a Malibu on the beach. Let's do it on the beach and we'll boot like, we'll put like broad beach, okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, we don't have to have a location and then we can write the description saying, uh, join us as I take you through the home and give you a virtual tour. Something along those lines, we write a date, let's say it's gonna be this Saturday at 12 p.m. Let's do a, you know what? I think it was already 12. Let's do 12 and let's have it last for about an hour, right? So okay. we'll go to about 1 p.m. Man, let's do 30 minutes. And so what you can do is I can then add you as a co-host if you're going to do this with me. Or if the agent said, hey, you're going to use my listing. Can I co-host it with you? Of course. Yep. Right? Okay. So now I create it and I have some choices here as I create it. Hopefully it go, Facebook works a little faster. 
so we can show you what's going on here. Perfect. All right, so now here's the page. Let's pretend Michael Gerber is a listing in, in Malibu, okay? Yep. Just for the purpose. And right here, I can invite lots of people, right? I can go through and invite everybody. Select all. These are people that are already on your page. And I can go ahead and I can export this list or I can more importantly share this so that people can then start coming to the event. And that's the key right there. Because now I have it right here. So far, I haven't, I invited 15 automatically that I already love my page. But what if I wanna go and say, well, let's go back to Tristan and Associates. Yeah, so if you don't like for those agents that maybe don't have a lot of people that like their page, you can still share it to your personal page. Yeah. And you can share it to the owner and the owner can share it to their their list of people too, right? I mean, you, got you can it, have man. others in your office always looking to bring value in the marketplace if they do farming. So you have like ancillary sales force promoting, correct? Yeah, and look, one of my agents is already going. Zach is going. Yeah, he probably thinks Michael Gerber is going to be there. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Uh, that's very true. Now you can you can also do this, and lots of people don't know about this. You click on the little three dots. You can save this event. Right, and this is important because as I save it to one of my collections, uh, let's create a new collection here uh, called Open Houses. Hold on, open. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. This is almost like a template. Yeah, this way you can go back to them and say, okay, now it's saved. Well, now I can go back to see all of my open houses here, okay. all of my saved events. They'll all pop up here and I can just grab the link from here and share it. And then I can share it anywhere I want. I can share it to my business page. I can share it to my page. I can share it to my friends uh, because you don't always get the choice of sharing it from here. So when you're uh -huh. here, going back to this, it doesn't always give you the choice to share. Not all business pages do, depending on where you're at. So that's okay. one challenge that we found. So that's, okay. the, that's the workaround. Obviously, the easiest thing, you just copy this domain name at the top. Yep. You go to your personal Facebook page. Let's just go to mine. Yep. And then I just copy paste it. There it is. It pops. And what, what recommendations do you recommend for best practices for Saturday at 12 o'clock? So now, um, to... yeah, great one. So now I'm here. Now when I go to Zoom, if I'm using Zoom, and you should, it's only 14 bucks. Just turn yeah. on the Facebook feature on the meeting section. When you go to Zoom and you go to live, one of the options is where do you want to go live? Well, you go to this event page. The event page will show up. It'll be called Open House on the beach, Broad Beach. That's yeah. what the event page will be called. If you don't wanna go that route, which I highly suggest you do because you're gonna be showing a virtual tour, right? right. How else are you gonna be doing it? Uh, you could do it through other companies like, let me go on this screen. The, uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't do it just through Facebook Live though. You couldn't unless you're at the property and I don't know in some cities they're in a complete lockdown. All right, all right. Go, so, right? What, so what you're doing is you're recording it, you're saving it somewhere, and then when you're, and you're almost. Well, no, that's that's no, that's uh, oh. that's the other option. So, I would want to go live on this, Michael. Okay, so you would do it live, live. I would go. I want to go live, and then I would share my screen, and then I'd be like, well, let's go through here. You know what? Uh, let me see which email he sent it to. Let me check this really quick because yeah. I can show you exactly what we do. Uh, and I have a whole video on this that I just shot. Let me just make sure that Zach sent this to me. There it is. Perfect. So here's the 3D tour. Let me see if that's the one. Perfect. Tell me if you can see my screen as this is popping up. Yep. You got a nice okay. Matterport tour here. Perfect. So what I would do is... I start off, uh, before I share this, I'd start off and say, now this is live. And I start off, hey, welcome to my virtual open house. Let's take a look at the property. I'm going to show you. And let's start off with Rosario, if I'm going to show you four, right? The property in Thousand Oaks, this one, let's go right into it. I shot a 3D tour on it. And this is what it looks like. Let's go right into the kitchen, everybody. So we've got some amazing appliances. This is my favorite part of the kitchen, right? Okay. 
this. So you are going live without being at, so you can do multiple properties. You're going live on multiple properties. When I say live, you're hosting multiple open houses Saturday between 12 and two for let's say four properties, but you're going live like you're doing right now. And then you are sharing the, the links and the virtual tours for each of those four. You got oh, it. Brilliant. You talk about scalability and leverage. You got it. That's what we're doing. And then the second part to this, that's events, right? Going that's live. Events. The second part to this is premiere. So you go to Facebook, you have to go to your business page. You know what? Let me go here to events just so I can go and check out. All right, good, good, good. Let's go back to my business page. And this time, let me see if I can scratch it from here, delete it. I'm going to delete the post, but you have to go to the event section to delete the event. Just heads up on that, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm on my, this is my main page here. I can go over here, event, right there. It's yeah. easy. Or I can go here and do it here. Now let's go into the business page. I'm going to, let's say, upload a video. And I think I have one because I was testing this out. Oh man, I, I wish it. Yeah, you know what? Let's just use one of my videos that I did for realtor.com a few years back. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have a video of a property that you, you've listed. And most of us do in the luxury world, right? Yeah. So I'm going to upload it here. And let's see if it might be. Hold on, let me check here. As I click post. Yeah, no, it's gonna, I'm gonna have to go to the se a separate section. You're gonna have to go to your business page here on this one. So let's, okay. let me go out and go into, I'll give you an example on lab codes. And by the way, uh, you did a training with uh, our good friend Catherine on this recently, correct? I did, she rocked it, dude. She yeah. did, the, she's I the one who showed amazing. me what she was doing on, on the premiere page, right? And is that uh, something you can share where we can sh share that link? Um, yeah, for man, others me, to watch the replay of it. I'll send you that link too. Okay, perfect. But as you go in here, and this is your this is our lab code agents business page. Sure. Yeah. And when we're, gonna post, post, when we're gonna post any video here, uh, we're gonna go here and upload a video. Okay. And I'm going to let's see if we can go here, upload a video. See if we can do this quickly. I'm going to grab that same video I did. And you see now it took me to a different screen. Yes. Right? So now I'm I don't recognize that guy. Is that your brother with longer hair? Yeah, that's that's me seven years ago. <laughs> I had longer hair. Uh, I'm going to type the title is uh, Open House in Malibu. Or we can do like if I put together four properties, right? I could do that yep. too, four different properties, but this one's just one, uh, Broad Beach. And then I can describe here, blah, 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 right? Now here's the important thing, guys. If this, is, if this has wording to it, it means if you've spoken in it or it has anybody speaking, you go to subtitles and you can generate a language here and it can automatically uh, post the captioning. It can auto-generate it. It's auto-generating it right now. It takes a few seconds, okay. which is cool. Now, when you click on next, you see it's already 100% uploaded. When you click on next, here's some things that you have to be careful for on Facebook. It wants the video to be three minutes or longer so that the algorithm works best, right? And it wants some tags, name it real estate. I usually name it the city, Malibu, uh -huh. right? And then this is the important part right here. You want oh, to there you go. premiere. Premiere. Because now you can say, well, my open house is on Saturday at, well, what did we decide to go at 12 p.m., right? So Correct, yeah. 12 p.m. You can even add an image specifically for this and then schedule it. And now at 12 p.m., once this is done, you can invite it. You can invite a ton of people to this and then people will show up you don't even have to be there live. I suggest that you're there typing and answering questions, right? Because this is a video, but that's how it works. And I'll send you, I'm going to exit without saving because I don't want to upload that. Right. Over to, so uh, the one, the first example you shared us is you're not physically at those four properties, but you can create a, 
within your page, you create an event talking about, you know, open house at 123 Main Street, 123, whatever, or open houses in Malibu and select four properties, have their virtual tour links or their videos pr prepared. You talk, right, you're, you're narrating live come Saturday, but from your home, and especially which is important with COVID-19. And each of those four properties in your MLSs, you can, uh, you can mark it as an open house, uh, virtual open house, depending on your MLSs. Sometimes they do virtual tours. Um, and then that last premiere is when you've created the video previously and you won't be doing it live. You create a premiere. You got it. So two options there for you, man. I, I just put up the link for you. I sent it here awesome. too. Uh, but that's what we're doing. And it's, dude, it's, uh, we're ahead. I just want that's you to awesome. be ahead. I want everybody to be ahead here. Well, I want to be respectful of your time. Um, it's it's ten fifty seven your time. Do you have Thanks to go, or you got one no, minute? I gotta go. But you gotta I, go. Hey, what's the best way for someone to get a hold of you? Best way is Facebook. You can Facebook message All me. Right. And lab code agents, lab code agents, and what recommendations? Ten seconds. Do you have for anybody that's working from home that never is working from home, but because of COVID nineteen, we started a series called Win at Home. What suggestions do you have for? you know, working with the kids that are working distant learning, anything that you have that, uh, that you'd recommend? The number one thing I recommend when working from home is make sure that you have your priorities all on a calendar. And I've got small kids too. They know when I'm on and sometimes they jump in, sometimes my dogs bark and it's part of life, man. So yeah. I think as long as everybody has their uh, their priorities and they know that you're doing something at that time, time blocking like a schedule yeah, type of thing, they can they can also be respectful. They remember they follow your lead. You're the leader, yeah. right? Yeah. So just just make sure that you're outlining everything. That's awesome. That's awesome. Appreciate you, my friend. Hey, appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, brother. All right, I'm gonna stick on. Uh, so you can you can. Uh, awesome. But for those of you that have questions for me, go ahead and. Uh, those of you that are on the Zoom, go ahead and type those in. You can type a message off to the side here. Tristan dropped in a link, a uh, YouTube link. Um, so we'll make sure we grab that and put it in our Facebook Live. Um, uh, my assistant has been emailing me some questions, so I want to make sure I address those. Again, same place, same time in two days. On Friday at this time, we're going to have Leslie Akers on. Uh, she runs the luxury and commercial divisions for Keller Williams. She's awesome. She's doing some amazing things over there. And so I want to answer uh, some questions. Joe Bors here. Thanks, buddy. So I have a buddy, a good friend of mine from Northern Michigan. Uh, he's in the uh, healthcare insurance business and uh, He's a great supporter and he's doing some great things. Um, Laura, Laura, locally here in the Chicagoland market, specifically St. Charles asked me, when do, you, when do you feel the luxury home market in St. Charles will pick up? Woods of Fox Glen specifically is where my mom is listed. So Laura, uh, send me a private message. I'd be glad to take a look and give any, uh, any feedback. Um, but what I can tell you is definitely St. Charles and Wayne uh, some of those areas, the further you go out west, what happened was, uh, you know, in the 90s, a lot of executives, you know, built nice big homes out there. And now, you know, there's a lot of uh, businesses that are moving out of Chicago. So a lot of those C-level executives in the St. Charles and even the Barrington, Barrington Hills of the world, they're not buying these big, massive properties we're seeing. Um, so again, I would tell you, there's really three reasons that properties don't sell. Number one is price. Number two is the exposure, okay? The exposure, in other words, the marketing, what kind of exposure is the, the company, the agent? And number three is the positioning of a home. So those are really three primary reasons homes don't sell. Again, price, again, it, the consumer doesn't care what a seller wants to get out of the house or what they have into the home. The market dictates price, Laura. Number two is the exposure, the, the, how much marketing and exposure. And number three is the positioning of a home. Another word for positioning would be not just staging, but is the agent showing too much of certain things and not enough of other things? 
For example, we just put two homes on the market yesterday, one in Wheaton for $509,000. It's an amazing property, but there's some dated features to that home. And so we didn't show all the bathrooms because we, my job as the agent is to, to accentuate the best features of a home and downplay the least favorable. Another example, we just put a property on the market yesterday for uh, 919,000. Same thing, we put a little bit more pictures on because it was a larger home, but there are certain aspects of that home we didn't show. And there are certain aspects that maybe a previous agent didn't show that we did. So we had drone footage because this Legends of Wheaton is a, is a great subdivision. It's near Herrick Lake, which is a great uh, uh, park where people can walk around the lake. And so you know, my kids like riding their bikes around there, that sort of thing. And so we had some drone pictures. So again, there's no doubt that St. Charles market is a little bit slower. I'm selling an amazing property uh, for over $2 million in St. Charles. And while we've had decent activity, we just got an inquiry this week, it's gonna be quality over quantity. So feel free to uh, send me over the address. I'd be glad to, to help any way I can. Great question. Let me see if there's any other questions that came through here. And hopefully Renee, that helped out. Those are the only questions uh, that I'm seeing right now. Again, just a reminder, Friday, um, Friday, we are doing the, uh, we are doing Leslie Akers. Really excited about that. She is awesome. Next Monday, we have Miami Association of Realtors. If there's an event that you should circle on your calendar, they put together an event, they call it the Miami Congress event. It's awesome. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, and I went to it this year. And again, Miami is a melting pot of international buyers and sellers, and it's a great market. So Miami, you're gonna wanna um, make sure you tune in to hear Teresa on Monday. Next Wednesday, I have Craig Hogan who runs the luxury division for Cobalt Banker. Craig is awesome, great guy. And Cobalt Banker does some amazing things with their, their luxury division. And next Friday, we have Brad Inman. We have already a lot, a lot of other guests, but I'm open to suggestions. So we are looking to bring on guests that are not just real estate agents, not just broker owners, not just associations. I have Rebecca Jensen, who runs MyRed, which is the sixth largest MLS. She's gonna be joining us. Uh, we're looking to add people from Canada, France, Italy. You know, we are international. Luxury is no longer local. It's a, it's a global market. And we want to help out any way we can. So whether you have a family member that's selling a home, whether you're selling a home, whether you're joining us live because you're a team leader looking to break into luxury and increase your average sale price, make sure you uh, tune in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We are getting some... Uh, some interest for maybe adding it Monday through Friday, adding Tuesdays and Thursdays, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday, luxury, live luxury uh, lunch and learns. It's a little after 1 p.m. Central, you know, right now here in the Chicagoland market. Again, we are gonna be posting these past episodes to our group. We have a free group, it's called Luxury Listing Specials. It's on Facebook. We're gonna be adding more and more content there. Check it out. You can go to our YouTube channel, Marketing Lecture Group on YouTube. And again, I'm here to help any way I can. Chime in your questions and my contact information. You can find me at luxurylistingspecials.com. Lux is the name of our designation. And uh, we do have some swag here. You can check out luxuryspecialsgear.com where we have t-shirts, hoodies, and various things. Uh, let me look one last thing for questions. Otherwise, we will sign off until Friday. Give me one second as I look this up. We have, uh, and I have somebody from Costa Rica right now. Salvador's on. Salvador, how are you? Salvador recently took our Lux or Lujo, as you say it in Spanish, our Lux designation uh, when we were down in Mazatlan where we helped Keller Williams Mexico launch their luxury division. So hello, Salvador. Uh, and um, if you have any questions, let us know. All right, so I am not seeing. Uh, 
I'm not seeing any other questions. So um, till next time, my name is Michael Lafito. You can shoot me an email, michael at marketingluxurygroup.com, michael at marketingluxurygroup. Any questions that you have for our guest that you'd like me to ask our guest. Again, uh, michael at marketingluxurygroup.com. Again, Friday, we have Keller Williams Luxury on. Next Monday, Miami Association of Realtors. Wednesday, Cobalt Banker Luxury, Craig Hogan. And next Friday, uh, Brad Inman. We also have Ann Miller who runs Luxury Division for Remax. We, we're, we're having her on two weeks from Friday, excuse me, May 1st. And we have some other people in between. So really looking forward to making this a regular midday luxury lunch and learn. My name is Michael Lafito. Keep raising the bar in real estate. Go help others out and make other people's day. Take care until next time. Peace.